I've challenged myself to become a better runner in 2024. In my last video, I mentioned the importance of consistency. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. But in this video, I wanted to chat about possibly my favorite thing about running, and that's the shoes. So I love all the gear that comes with running. It in itself inspires me to run more. I want to use the stuff. I want to be seen using it. I mean, I turn up at a race start line going, oh, he's wearing these, she's wearing those. <sighs> I love it. But I know that when you start something new, it can feel a bit bewildering getting your head around all the new terms and all the new brands. So I wanted to introduce you to a few of my favorites. If you've started running, great, keep it up. Realistically, you can run in anything, but wearing the correct pair of running shoes can make a big difference. I know some people that start running and instantly get injured. Sore knees, sore hips, shin splints, and buying the correct pair of running shoes can really mitigate some of those problems. But the thing is, where did you start? I'd recommend starting in the daily trainer category. Now these are your cornerstone shoes that you're gonna do your most mileage in. These are your all-rounders. They can do a little bit of everything and are pretty good at it all. My top three brand recommendations in the daily trainer category would be the Asics Nova Blast series, the New Balance 1080 series, or the Hoka Clifton series. Now I'm a bit of an Asics fanboy, so when I started out I got the Nova Blast ones. These were good shoes. I enjoyed them, they were okay. Um, I ran about 160 kilometers in them, I got a 5k PB in them, which still stands. Um, they fun, they lively shoes, but I just never quite clicked with them. Um, maybe because they were just a bit too firm for me. And at the time when I was running in these, I started to get shin splints. But that could have been a case of me doing too much too soon and not the shoes. So then I did some research and I bought the Nova Blast 3. Yes, I skipped the twos. Now these were the perfect balance for me. They were firm, yet bouncy. They were comfortable yet exciting. I love these shoes. I can run easy kilometers in them as well as race in them. Last summer I got a half marathon personal best. I highly recommend these shoes. So if you're in the market for getting a new pair of running shoes and you want an all-round great pair, I would highly 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 recommend the Asics Nova Blast 3s. And now that the Nova Blast 4s have come out, the Nova Blast 3s are on sale. So if you haven't already got a pair, now would be a great time to get them. Once you've covered the daily trainer category and worn them for a few weeks, you might want to move on to something else, like the Max Cushion category. Now, some people start here. These are softer shoes that will dampen the impact of your running. So if you're somebody that gets sore knees or sore hips, you might want to start here rather than the daily trainer category. And again, I have three recommendations. For Asics, would be the Gel Nimbus series. For New Balance, would be the More series. And for Hoka, would be the Bondi's. The first pair of proper running shoes that I ever bought were these. These are the Gel Nimbus 23s, and I love these shoes for lots of different reasons. For one, I think that they look amazing. But for two, I'm kind of sentimental about these shoes because these got me back into running. I struggled with IT band issues for quite a while, for about two years. I thought that I wasn't meant to be a runner. I was gonna quit and just move on to other things. I was recommended to buy these, I bought them, and within a month, my IT band issues seemed to go away. But the good times couldn't last because I wore through the soles. So I decided to upgrade to these. This is the Gel Nimbus 25. And I love these shoes. Super soft, super squishy, I could run all day in these. When they first came out, Asics claimed that they were the most comfortable shoes out there. And they weren't wrong. They are possibly one of the most comfortable shoes I've ever worn. They've got a super stretchy upper, really thick, squishy sole that make you feel like you're running on clouds. Now there are more categories of shoes that I haven't covered, like trail shoes, stability and support shoes, or race day shoes, which are also called super shoes if they have a carbon plate in them. But because I haven't run in any of these shoes, I would be wrong to give you any recommendations, but I can tell you the shoes that I would like to start to run in. And for me, I wanna stick with Asics for a little bit longer, and I wanna run it in the Magic Speed 3 series. Now, that's not Asics' top shoe, that would be like the Metaspeed Sky Plus, um, but that would be too much shoe for me. Whereas the Magic Speed 3s would be just enough to get me closer to my PB goals. 
And those are the shoes that I would like to start to run in. Hopefully that gave you a good starting point to help you make your next purchase. In the comments below, let me know what shoes you're running in or what shoes you're planning to buy in 2024. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.